roll these windows down. I usually roll the window down not all the way, so when I close it on these older cars, the windows start getting loose with the uh, seal and the tracks and everything. So you can hold that window and shut it, just give it a little extra life, you know? It's only so many thousands of times that you can slam these doors before the windows start getting real loose. Uh, hey everyone, Rusty here. I'm going to uh, move the Camaro um, into place here and I'm gonna see what I can do about that uh, driver's side exhaust. Uh, but first we'll see if it's going to start up and run with no problems. So let's give it a look. Now, since I put that high torque starter on this thing, it hasn't been particularly hard to start. I'm just gonna pump the gas a couple times. Stupid uh, butterflies. I mean, um, grasshoppers laying on me. There you go. Sounds good still. I didn't diesel because the engine wasn't too hot. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, get the uh, jack, get the garage opened up, and I'm gonna get my little torch, and I'm gonna lift the car with the exhaust, basically, and try to smash the exhaust up a little more because it's quite a bit lower than I'd like it to be on the driver's side. And it was good, but when I welded everything, I think something must have shifted when I welded it. So let me show you. See, it's just a little, just a little too low. I need to push it up right there in that section where it goes. It needs about an inch, right? And about an inch right here would be fine, but not necessary. But an inch down there next to the uh, frame section um, would be good. The other side I think is, is pretty good. We don't need to do anything. That's about as tight as it's gonna get. So um, I'll bring you back when I have something going on uh, that's substantial that I can show you. Well, I thought I had the camera rolling, but I didn't. Anyways, um, I had success. Uh, the camera wasn't rolling, but the jack did the trick. I got the jack under here and I just jacked up the pipe in the weak spots to smash it a little bit and also to bend it up into place, right? So now I let the jack down and you can see now it's the way it should be. So I think that's gonna do it, right? Oh yeah, it's stable. It's not shaking around or anything. And uh, I'll measure out the ground clearance for you, but there it is. Yeah, that's stable in the place. All right. 
Well, I couldn't really have asked for an easier day. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start it and I'll drive around the block with you one more time just to keep everything working. And then I'm going to have to look at that fuel issue on the frame rail. And I might be able to just pull that metal um, fuel line out of the way. But if not, I'll just cut it and splice in a piece of uh, 3 8 fuel hose and uh, run it uh, so it's not too close to the header. But let's fire it up and take her around the block. Why not? Got to make sure uh, the smashed exhaust didn't uh, rob all my performance, right? That's the wink wink. That's what we're doing, right? Doubt it. It's not going to make any difference. I might have created an exhaust leak by jacking up on that pipe and moving the header, but let's see. Nah, sounds fine. I thought it was most likely gonna diesel. So if you have a vehicle that tries to diesel, all you gotta do is put that baby in gear and hold your foot on the brake while you turn it off. 
and that'll prevent some of that dieseling action um, if you have one that's doing that or maybe if you overheated your car right when you turn it off it's going to be all sputtering and dieseling and so if you want to prevent that just shut it off in gear that'll usually stop it or at least it'll uh um bring down the uh number of times that the engine's going to try to keep running Well, the pipe didn't get loose, so I call that a win. I mean, if this car is going to keep giving me easy days, I'm going to keep taking them. All right, it sounds like we got at least one speaker working. The display seems to be dead, but if I can change the mode and get the... Uh, Bluetooth working that would be something so I'm gonna search on Bluetooth I don't know what this is gonna be called probably blah punk but the screen burned out uh, due to uh, the temperature I'm guessing it was a piece of garbage so let's try another mode I don't know I'm not seeing anything um maybe that's it right that could be blah punk i don't know the uh oh yeah there it is let's see if this will come out that's the model right i don't know if it's going to be blurry on the screen but there we go i see it so i'm gonna try to pair it to it yeah dude hey we got it so if i just leave it like that i should be able to you know play stuff see what we can bring up um, let me go to my channel so I don't get in trouble right how could I get in trouble if it's my own video right so let's see I just want to hear it play over the speakers oh I know what happened to these kind of yeah it's working they went to the scrap yard and they told them we don't want that CRT monitor Hi! <laughs> pretty oh, good I know what happened to these Okay, well, I'll have some form of music anyways. Well, that's all I'm going to do for today. It's getting hot already. And uh, I'll make this video and I'll push it out real quick. And then um, I'll probably clean up my garage so I can back the car in and uh, work in the AC on the electrical. And hopefully get my fuel gauge working again because it used to work and it's huge and there's hard to miss. And it tells you how many gallons and liters you have left. And the speedometer is kind of weird on these. It tells you miles per hour and uh, kilometers per hour. But I uh, try to get that stuff working and um, then go get it inspected. And uh, then I'll be legal to drive this thing on the road and I can start running some fresh gas through it and then tune it up. And then we can do a zero to 60 in the rusty pass. I think it'll do quite well. It's pretty uh, springy. When you get on the, the gas, it t just takes off. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.